Hello everybody. So I just posted two videos deriving the entropy of the quantum harmonic violin. Uh, the violin string. And the reason why I did that is because it's so close to the related string theory. And we found the entropy of that. So we could use that formula to also find the entropy of the string states. And a surprising property, one of the surprising properties, is that it predicts a maximum temperature uh, that theaters could have. And that is actually really interesting. It's called the Hedger temperature, I think. Um, so the first thing I want to say is that uh, for the harmonic violin, we have E going H bar N. This is quantum uh, violin. And then for strings, the mass squared is equal to uh, a prime, which that is just, it's pretty much kind of like the H bar for quantum mechanics in string theory. It's called the Reg slope parameter. Um, it was originally used to relate the, uh, the angle of momentum of two quarks to its energy. Um, or two meson, or one meson, uh, four So we have the fill n is the number of vibrations, except these only take place in the the transverse direction to the string. So you know we still have you know n equals two would be uh, we maybe one of these, or it could be two of these. You know, n equals three, same, be one of these, maybe one of these, mix with one of these, or maybe three of these, and you know, so on and so forth. So uh, there's still a degeneracy in this, in this situation, so uh, we like to calculate the partition function. So, uh, not, well, okay, so the, the number of parts, so, um, for each level, the number of degeneracies is how many times you could partition that number. So, like, you know, n equals five. Uh, we have seven different types of string configurations that give you this energy or mass. Uh, so for n equals one, you know, we only have one configuration. And then that actually gives you a massless state. Uh, for no, the ground state, you get tachyon, you get uh, imaginary mass. Uh, for n equals two, you know, we'll get the first, we'll get a massive state. M squared equals one over five. Anyway, uh, so two, okay, I don't wanna get too far distracted. Um, anyway, so we have this, uh, this relationship. Um, we have the entropy equals K, Ln, and then the number of states. And last time we found out that uh, Pn equals uh, e to the 2 pi square root of n minus 6. You could obviously see that in the last video if you'd like. And, uh, you know, we brought this in 24. So, uh, to, uh, to take into account all 24 dimensions, we have this first factor. So, uh, so this just gives you, let's see, 24, this gives you k, 2 pi, uh, n, uh, 24 over 6, this gives you 4, pull out 2. And we see here, uh, using Einstein's relation, uh, m equals e, we get e squared, for e equals square root of n of prime, uh, so n square root of n equals of prime e. Uh, plug this into here. We have the entropy equals k four pi uh, prime over e, and then um, So this is interesting because now we get a linear relationship between these two. And this is, so this partition function was taken at high energy. So at high energy, 
we get the entropy is equal to the energy, and that will give you a uh, constant temperature because the temperature, you just want over T, so it's pretty much just this, this slope over here, um, which you know we could just straight up do it. Uh, T, <laughs> super hard, uh, T for pi prime, and then, uh, so this is called the, the hedron temperature, and then I think that, I'm not too sure, I will post this in the comments or in my little description. Below, I think this is 10 to the 60 Kelvin. I'm not 100% sure. I, when I started the video, I thought, I was like, man, like, maybe I should say this. But I'll just think about the physics that it entails. I'm going to think about the actual number um, itself. So, uh, one of the things is that the partition function, uh, when you take the energy uh, equal to the hedron temperature, uh, you get infinite amount of energy, so you can't get any higher than this temperature. Um, yeah, it has very interesting consequences, uh, especially with black holes, which we'll see next time. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.